This is going to be an insane haul, you guys. And make sure that you are in our district Lily Works Jewels and Lots on Tuesday because I am going to be starting all of these pieces at $5. I am insane. There are some highly collectible pieces here. Ooh, I am just modern. <gasps> that one is a definite yes. Look at this modern brooch pendant. What are you, 10? Yes. <laughs> All right, so we have these beautiful guilloche enamel. These are four. Oh, I think we have some screwbacks. Oh, look at these screwbacks. Stop. <gasps> Copper. Hey, you guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Rachel, AKA Lilyworks. And in this channel, we have jewelry AKA and- AKA Lilyworks. My name is Rachel, AKA Lilyworks. I mean my mama. Okay. So we're doing jewelry today at the antique store. So we're gonna be doing a shop along with me today. And everything I find here today, I'm going to be auctioning off on my Tuesday District Lily Works Antiques and Collectibles auction. So uh, let's see what I can find that I can pass on to you guys and see what you guys might um, be looking out for. If you guys are going antique shopping or thrifting um, to see what might be valuable. Let's go head on in. All right, so this is a an antique store that is a twin antique store. So there's actually two buildings. And this one, I think, has more jewelry. That might be a good price. So we're going to see what we can find. I only have like 40 minutes to shop um, before I'm going to go to the antique store today. <laughs> so let's go see what we can find. Okay, so this one looks like it's 20% off of this booth. I see the fruit and vegetables here. $8 for an eggplant. We have an orange. We have another carrot. Oh my gosh, how adorable. I'll be bringing my glass stuff um, over to my booth soon. Vibolo tie. Let's just check out prices here on these. <clears throat> See if they are reasonable. So this is six. That's okay. That's modern. We have this one says gold tone choker. Six. Oh, are these clip on? Oh wait, what is this? Dolphins. Dolphins. Six dollars. Dolphin and pearl. I might grab that one here. Annalise, can you hold this one? There's a little bit of wear, but. Very, very um, dimensional. All right, so we have these beautiful guilloche enamel. These are four. Oh, are they marked? What are they marked? They are marked 120th gold filled. So you can hold these on Elise. Those are beautiful, aren't they? Um, what are these? These might be like onyx. What does it say? Black ball posts. I have to see if there's any marks on this because this might be gold filled or something. We have some screw backs. Oh, look at these screw backs. Stop. <gasps> Copper and halite earrings, $4. Oh, my word. We'll grab those. Thank you, Annalise, for holding them. Um, we have this, is pretty worn have this cuff. We have a pewter looking owl. Fox head pendant. I'll see if there's any marks on the back of this. Ooh, a butterfly. Gold tone etched. This one is a BSK. Okay, so this one says $12 for a redstone hematite ring. Um, yeah, it looks like marcasite and garnet. It does say 925 in there, but like we have seen before, a lot of rings marked 925 might not be. I think I'm going to take a, t a chance though and test it. Size six and a half. It is gorgeous though. Look at how beautiful and interesting this is. I think someone would love this. Um, anyways. Oh my gosh, look at this. This looks like it might be plique jour or Grapois, five dollars. Yes, here, Annalise, can you hold this one? Look at how pretty. Um, the 
fashion necklace. This one says nine to five. What could it be? It just says mom. So a little sterling mom necklace. Oh, a snow bunny. Look at how cute that is. Peeking in at the little bunny. Ornament earrings. Glass earrings. Okay, I think we're good for this section. So these windows are super inspiring. 45. So it looks like they put in some floral prints into these windows and then they did back it with paper. That is gorgeous. I love that. Very, very pretty. Well, I'm a sucker for 50% off everything. <laughs> what can I find? This is pretty. All art is hand smothered in peace. Love and a few, oh, interesting. Okay, so I don't know if this would be 50% off. Don't see jewelry, do we, do we? Oh, little cloisonne. Oh, no, stop, look how pretty this is. Little jewelry holder, Austrian china. Oh, I might want to bring this to the auction because it's a little ring holder. There's a little bit of wear, but it's a little Austrian. Oh, I'm in love. Maybe I want this for my dresser. Oh my gosh. Oh, is this Roseville? Yep, Roseville pottery right here. And this one is gorgeous. Oh, look at that guilloche enamel. It says damaged. Where are you damaged? Oh, I see on the back here, but that is so pretty. Oh my word. And I love these little cloisonne. This one is so cute. Six dollars. Does this one have a percentage off? I don't know. I just wash my hands. That's why they're wet. <laughs> but that's really pretty too. I don't think these are the 50% off, but I'm going to get this one. And look right here, you guys. Oh my gosh. Isn't this so pretty? So I'm going to be um, doing a sale, a live sale on our Lilyworks Antiques and Collectibles once we hit around 400 members. So if you're not over there, make sure you go over there and become a member because we can do, oh my goodness, $6. We can do sales like this over there with all the pretties. There's even more. I love all this. Okay, so right here, I see genuine pearls. See that, you guys? Genuine pearls. And it actually is new old stock Honora collection. So these are some Honora pearls for $12. This booth is 15% off, but this is a steal. <laughs> steal. Look at how lovely. Gorgeous. And this might be sterling silver. You can see right there on the clasp. It also has the H for Honora. So yeah, a little sterling clasp. Here, Annalise, put this in your basket. Thank you. All right, do we see any other scores over here? Oh, milk glass, link choker. Oh. This one looks kind of bold. 18. Wow, they priced this even more than the Honora Pearl. That's interesting. So, yeah, they missed some nice pieces here. Okay, so I. Okay. So it says kindly open glass care and at or ask for assistance so we're gonna we're gonna open it care <laughs> and Annalise are you gonna help me because I know I have found things in here before that were awesome so this one's 1350 it has Jasper onyx and tiger's eye clip on ooh I do want to look at these closer all right, so I did um, try to look at the clip-on backs of these and I didn't see any marks, but they are really, really pretty. We have these. These look like 1950s. They are marked Monet on the back. They are 1350. 
That's a little pricey. This is gorgeous. $16.50. They're only like glued in stones though. So not the highest of quality. This is 30. This is really pretty Victorian style. 14. The swirling on the back is 19.28. So Okay, we have I think I've seen, I saw this one last time. This one's not marked, but really, really pretty. You want to show one? Okay, go ahead. Which one did you find? Okay, describe it for us. It's a... A person. Fantastic. All right, this one says red floral pin. I don't know, this might have, oh, that must have been a tag that came off of something else because that's not a red floral pin. So it says leaf something. Looks higher quality. This one might also be 1928, but yeah, the prices in here are a little bit high. So unless something is super wow, maybe like a Boucher or something, um, Miriam Haskell would be nice. But other than that, these prices are a little high for Risa. Oh, there's a there's a six dollar bezel set butterfly. Okay, where did this come from? <laughs> that one is a good one. Look at this one, Annalise. Oh, I don't know. Was this supposed to be in here? Maybe someone accidentally put a different Venter's pin in here. This one's also really pretty. Fifteen ninety five. It's a heart with a heart with a flower. Oh, these are so pretty. Look at those. 24. And then we have this little clutch purse. Let's see. Are you vintage? Maybe not. Okay, let's keep moving on. Okay, so I see a lot of things in this booth here that I think I want to grab. I see a turquoise and sterling necklace that I think I want. There's a, let's focus in, earring and brooch set for 10 back there. There's there's this one that looks possibly like Juliana or something, but it's missing a stone. And there's that um, inlaid stone heart that's only three. So there's some good pieces in here. Let's see. No jewelry for here. So, oh, look at this $60 perfume bottle. Oh my gosh, it is gorgeous. Mommy, where was the tag? I don't know. Let's see. So yeah, these are like three. Oh, 175 for these cufflinks. Those are amazing. Um, I hear Gideon, or I hear... Pemberley, and she's like probably on the other side of the antique store, but she's really loud. She talks just so loud. Here is a mosaic Mommy, guitar you. for 10, but it's damaged. I found it. Mommy, this oh. Hey, this dropped off. There's some more brooches and things in here. I love those. Hold on, honey. Shell pendant. Look at these earrings. Ten for those. Here is a copper necklace for 25. Ooh, look at this modern. Oh, that one is a definite yes. Look at this modern brooch pendant. What are you, ten? Yes? <laughs> okay, so... This is going to be an insane haul, you guys, and make sure that you are in our District Lily Works Jewels and Lots on Tuesday because I am going to be starting all of these pieces at $5. I'm insane. There are some highly collectible pieces here. I am just so excited to share them with you. And of course, some of these pieces I paid like $25 for. But again, I'm going to be starting everything at $5 on Tuesday. So that's like tomorrow. I think this video is coming out Monday. Tomorrow, make sure you're there. It's 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. 
And yeah, <laughs> this is just going to be so amazing, you guys. There's going to be something for everyone, seriously. So let me just talk about these things. I'm so tempted <laughs> to resell almost all of these myself, but I'm going to be sharing these with you because so many of you say, oh, I wish I had stuff like that near me. So yeah, here we go. All right. So this is genuine sterling and turquoise. I did test it. It is sterling handmade piece. Lovely, gorgeous. The I did test the chain, not sterling. So the important piece here is this piece right there. So that, um, you know, you could buy it for even like 30 bucks and double your money at least. So that is a really, really great piece. Okay. Look at this sweet little piece here. Um, this is a carved shell cameo. This is a natural shell and it is gold verme, which is gold over sterling. I did test it. It's a little um, antique pin and you can see the pin coming through right here. It is longer than the piece. Then that is around like turn of the century because clothes were thicker. So the pins had to be longer. This one does have a flaw, but someone is going to love it. It would be even worth putting some money in to repair it, you guys. It's missing the hook, that little C clasp right there. But if you're a collector of cameos, I mean, this is definitely a piece. So this is actually a scene with a house and it is just lovely. Okay. like <laughs> There's two pieces. We have this piece here. You guys saw this one. This is called Plique Jour. And someone is selling this one for around $40. Plique Jour is highly collectible, highly sought after. You can see why it's like poured in there. This, uh, is it glass or resin? Um, plastic. I don't know. But um, yeah, you can like see through it. It's like a stained glass look. Super, super beautiful. Okay, we have this one here. I got this because of this big domed lucite cabochon. These are really popular. Oh, you can even see it. Look at that. Look at that ruby red, cherry red color just popping through. Not marked, but this right here is what sells it. So yay for that one. Um, a brooch collector is going to love that one. This one definitely looked important under or behind the glass. And you can see it has the different like mid-century modernist look to it. And then the different enamel, um, um, rectangles. <laughs> That's the word. And this is actually a very long, long pendant. It is a piece uh, marked Mika Denmark. There are pieces up there on eBay right now, but definitely nothing as spectacular as this. This is so mid-century awesome. Definitely a collector's piece. Absolutely. So I did test this for sterling. I don't think it is sterling, but amazing. Okay, then we have, I'm going to see if I can fix this. So this might not be, I'm going to see because I, it's missing something in the back, but you guys can see why I picked it up. Look at those cabochons, open back cabochons. Look at that. Look at how gorgeous that green is. And then there's purple. This might be some unmarked high end piece, honestly. Um, it's missing the pin, and I have repaired that easily before. You just put one of those um, pins in there, and then this clamps. Find one that's the same length. And isn't that gorgeous? So if someone wants me to bring this to auction as is, I can. Just leave, leave it in the comments. Um, oh my gosh, I paid $2 for it as is. So if I fix this, I would probably list it for 60 ish, depending on if I could find if there was a um, brand for it or not. So that is stunning. Easy fix as well. Okay. We have this. Saw this right away. This is a Honora Pearl, genuine pearl necklace. 
and it is new old stock. So this would be awesome as a gift as well. So it, it is marked the Sterling 925 and also the H on the clasp. So if you don't have a tag, but you see that it's marked that H and it's a pearl piece, um, it might possibly be an, a Honora pearl piece. So that is a definite score right there. I am telling you, you guys, I have something for everyone. Speaking of which, there are so many antique check glass lovers out there. And this one is a beauty dress clip. Fur clip? It is very pokey. Um, but this one is open back with that big amethyst glass in there. Really, really beautiful, like Etruscan details. You guys, I'm giving you keywords right here. So if someone buys this and you eventually want to sell it from your collection, those are, yeah, those are the keywords. This is just amazing. So open back, amethyst glass, pop, most likely Czechoslovakian glass, Etruscan styled, beautiful. Early, um like turn of the century. So ha <laughs> that, that's, <laughs> I know you guys, I know all the beautiful things. This one is a stick pin. I know I have a lot of you that love stick pins. Don't mind my nails. Like they're a hot mess. So let's just ignore my nails and look at the beautiful jewelry here. Um, this is, you can see like the veining underneath the enamel this pin doesn't say anything, but on the back of this actually does say um, XO. Oh, it's upside down, but it basically, I think, says XO or something. So I looked it up, and it's for Oxiger, and it's a Danish sterling. So this top part is sterling. I don't think this is anything, but it's a little sterling butterfly enamel. Gorgeous. Oh, my gosh. Okay, then we have this piece. And I have never seen anything like this. And I've sold a lot of scarf clips before. Look at that iridescence on the cabochon. Like beautiful Art Nouveau filigree look, right? And then on the back, it says Made in Holland. And then it's 3K's Imports. I have never seen a more beautiful scarf clip ever. Like look at how stunning. That is gorgeous. Okay, next, <laughs> let's get into this. This is um, another antique piece. Again, it has the pin that's longer than the back. It has the this clasp back here. There we go, older. And I believe this is meant to use um, for braided hair. So this is an empty one. So a lot of people are looking for empty morning pieces to create their own, you know, like a loved dog or pet or loved one to just bring back their memory in that way. And this one is an empty one. So that one was really awesome. Okay, next we have this. This someone can turn into a pendant. This, I don't know if it's Zuni or not, but definitely in that like mosaic Zuni style. It has the malachite, it has maybe like a lapis, some other stones all mosaic together, possibly by like a sterling silver, but there is like a little hole that you could turn it into a pendant. So that is lovely. We have this piece here. This one I recognized right away. I believe this is a blue lace agate right here. And when we see the cop or the rose gold and the gold and the silver fine detail all together, usually indicative of Black Hills Company, this one is marked right there on the bottom as I think it's a C Company Sterling and 12 karat gold. So we have Sterling, 12 karat, Black Hills Gold Company. Beautiful blue lace agate on a sterling chain. This one is a score all day. <laughs> like, beautiful. We have this brooch, and this one has movement. Like, we all 
We all love the bling and the movement. This one has both. So it has this little dangle, lovely pink rhinestones. Someone is going to love it. I don't think it's marked, but it's probably around the 1950s um, little brooch. We have this genuine pearl bracelet here. It's a three strand with a like a hidden box clasp look right here. And it it's all in working, really great working order. There we go. So that's what that looks like. A classic pearl, genuine pearl neck or bracelet. Um, this ring, I still have to research it because it's marked CR, um, CR925. Oh, did one of them pop out? Oh no. It looks like maybe one of the marcasites popped out. I did test this. This is garnet. When I scratched it, it wasn't showing up as sterling, but it feels like it might be highly rhodium plated and I didn't want to just keep scratching it. <laughs> So it's still, I mean, I still could keep researching it. Um, this one is a size six and a half. I think I'm going to still bring it to auction because it is gorgeous. Like it's really unique how there's like a, a halo, but nothing on the bottom end right here. That is super unique. Also, another thing I wanted to mention is I was, when I was researching, a lot of the CR925 rings were by... Um, Carolyn Pollock by Relios or whatever. That's basically what it was called. And a lot of them did have like scrolling. So I'm not sure if this is a Carolyn Pollock piece. And you can definitely not really even tell that a marcasite is missing. Obviously that could be replaced. But if the bid starts at $5, you could <laughs> definitely get a score on this piece. Again, this is a, a, um, a garnet in there. Okay, next, this one is an antique pendant. Um, maybe like a Czechoslovakian pendant with a little like brassy gold tone. Well, I guess this is called an antiqued gold tone. Oh, maybe this isn't antique because they these stones are AB coded and we know that AB coding came around the 50s. But yeah, this that's interesting. Or were they replaced rhinestones? Because it definitely has the antique look. So this is a pendant. And it is gorgeous. Okay. Next we have these sterling. These are This is not pearl. But these are marked 925. And just gorgeous. Um, like faux Tahitian pearl I would say. There's little crystals. And just a nice classic drop. Good weight to them. Like glass faux pearls, not plastic or anything. These feel high quality. And then we have these. This is one of the favorite pieces here. Like look at the little guilloche enamel. What does it say on the back of here? Well, I, I know it says um gold filled, right? Yeah, the GF for gold filled. 12 karat gold filled. But then what does the back of this say? Marvella? Okay, I think that these might not be <laughs> the correct backs to these, but I'm going to be starting those at five. Oh my gosh. Okay, we have this beauty. Again, really fine detailed flowers and then big rhinestone bunches up at the top. The stick is marked. There is, you can see that there's a little mark marking right there. And I believe it says White Co. So we have that beautiful brooch. We have this brooch. This is a reversed carve, carved lucite, but look at the detail. So they filled that in with paint after it was carved through the back. Do you see that? And then this is what you get. And so this is a lovely lucite brooch. How stunning. Even they faceted the lucite. Stunning. Okay, I couldn't resist. I have two of these. <laughs> the tiny little vintage pins. So this one comes with a little faux pearl. It's like a little, mm, like a swallow maybe or something. Pink enamel. Definitely a little vintage piece. Sweet little pink bird. And then we have... 
a poodle with this like multi little chips of something on its belly, maybe even enamel, big rhinestone eyeball, just a sweetie little pin. Okay. Then we have these. We saw these. These are copper and howlite. Um, you guys, a, a lot of you have mentioned that you love your mid-century copper jewelry. And so I grabbed these. These are the faux turquoise or possibly like a howlite. We have this one. This one looks like it's possibly like a pot metal. Let me show you the back. So an older piece, foil back rhinestones. And this pendant is massive. It looks like it would be like a brooch, but it's actually a pendant. Now it is missing, let's see, missing a couple blue rhinestones, but these could be easily um, replaced. And you really can't tell. And for the age, oh, it is just so beautiful. The fact that this is a statement rhinestone pendant, beautiful blue color. Then we have this. I don't know, I don't know what to think <laughs> because I know that this is nephrite jade. It has a safety pin, but some of, some people are pricing these way, way up. And um, I'm not sure if this is gold filled or not. Uh, most people were listing this as gold filled. It has a really pretty etching on there. But when I went to do the scratch test, it only scratched as a gold color. And, you know, sometimes when you're doing gold over silver, it will scratch a silver underneath. So it didn't test as like a silver underneath as far as I could tell. But yeah, but this is like a nephrite jade um, stone bangle, super cold to the touch and gorgeous. We have this, which I thought was absolutely stunning. It is clip on earrings with a matching um, brooch right here. So this would be a dummy perer missing a couple rhinestones. Oh, no, one rhinestone, one green rhinestone. So I'm going to be like on the lookout for this rhinestone or, um, yeah, I'm going to look in the bag or, and I'm going to see if I have anything in my, um, my rhinestone harvesting. I usually find something that would work because I have so much rhinestone that uh, rhinestones that I've harvested from vintage pieces, especially like if you guys find a broken like Christmas tree brooch, you can get so many different um, colors from like Christmas brooch jewelry pieces because they have yeah that you could just take out all the different color ornament rhinestones. So we have that. I found these really neat cufflinks. Okay, so what do they say? Um, it, okay, what are these? <laughs> first of all, like water tap thing knobs. At first I'm like, oh, do they spin? Oh, they spin. Oh, how cool is that? So I had to grab these. I was like, they're weird, interesting. There's no maker on them. There is a patent. Sometimes you can identify the maker by the patent. But at first I was my well, I guess I should say my initial thought was like a firefighter type cufflink, but I'm not sure if that's what this is for. If it was, then that would bring the value up on these by a lot because there are a lot of people who collect firefighter pieces. So, but isn't this just so fun? Little like fidget spinning <laughs> knobs. Okay. Then I'm telling you guys, isn't this just the most fantastic um, haul, jewelry haul? I know. Get excited for Tuesday. Get excited. Okay. Let me know down in the comments if you plan on coming. Please, please come because this is, this is pretty epic. Okay. We have this bezel set butterfly brooch. You can see all the way through it. Look at how gorgeous. Light blue color. This is a definite yes all day if you see something like that. I am also wondering what this is made out of because of the different tones of metal and the intricate details. This is the tiny little locket hanging down on a bar brooch. We cannot, 
resist the cuteness. Oh, just so adorable. Not marked at all, but this is so lovely. And I wonder what you would put in. Probably a picture, the tiniest little picture in there. So sweet. All right, this one I kind of got towards the end. Looks like it might be an agate belly, a little mouse, or maybe a carnelian. This might be like a carnelian belly, little mouse guy. And again, not marked, but super sweet. And then along with that, there was this brooch that was by it. And this one again is articulated. So look at his little tail. <laughs> little two little mice buddies there. And are these marked? I don't think so, but these are like little, little mice buddies with enameling on them. Um, speaking of animals, we have this. Doesn't this look like, um, am I thinking of Tanala pottery? This is a little turtle. Look at his nose holes. Look at his shell. Look at his feet. What is going on? Is it a whistle? <gasps> Wait a second. Is this a whistle turtle? No. Do you blow her? <laughs> Guys. Stop it. Wait, do we have a crack? Or maybe that's just how it was made because it doesn't look like there's a crack anywhere else. So it might just be the clay, kind of like how it's made by the feet. But isn't this so cool. Okay. Someone's going to love that. That is so stinking adorable. All right. We have this. I had to grab it even though there's some wear. Let's take a look. Okay. Look at how like bulbous and huge this brooch is. This is so awesome. Okay. Let's pull this out. Here's the back. Are you marked? Not that I can see. But look at these big, giant faux pearls and the dolphins. Probably around mid-century, I would say. Um, yeah, so this one is a piece you don't really see that often with the dolphins and the big pearls and how old it is. So that is really cool. And then um, I'm, I'm saving a piece over here to show you guys last. Um because I'll, t I'll tell you why later, but I got this little cufflink set here. And of course I saw these Delft blue Holland cufflinks and these are really awesome. Okay. So we have those and this, I think I'm going to be putting with it because it kind of matches this right here, like this, um, optic look right there. We have these soldier, these are glass, so carved glass soldiers. I don't think they're marked, are they? No, but then I know that there was a tie tack that matched. So again, this is going to be another set here. We have, um, we have a scrimshaw tie tack right here. And it is a little, maybe like a little Inuit our Eskimo it is signed. Oh my gosh. So yeah, carved scrimshaw. And then let me see. Oh, look at this. It's like a root beer glass cabochon. That's fun. I still have to probably test this because it might be something. It's just a pendant. So I'm going to put that to the side. I'm not not sure. Um, we have these cufflinks. It looks like this might be chipped here in the corner, but you really can't tell. So some kind of some some kind of stone. <laughs> uh, we have a tie tack. Ooh, look at that blue star. Okay, so this looks like it has nothing on it. So I'll probably lot like these together, this, this, and then this by itself. This is pretty special. Um, so yeah. And then are you guys ready for the piece that I want to keep? <laughs> are you guys ready? Okay. You guys are going to be shocked. And then I paid $6 for this and I thought this is absolutely gorgeous. 
Okay, now I do think, before I say this, don't like come at me and be like, Rachel, that's not vintage. I'm fairly certain that the clasp has been um, replaced because it is shiny and everything else is matte gold. So let me just show you. Look, you guys know how obsessed I am with pink and gold tone and this could not get any better. Bezel set charms, um, all these, and you guys know vintage charms, dangly charms are absolutely amazing, especially like the Coro ones, like the coins and things like that. But oh my word, like look at, look at this bezel set gorgeousness. So this one, I know, I know, I know. But I, I'm like, I have to, like, I, like, I just, this is, this speaks to me on so many levels. And if I had to pick a piece, this is going to be the piece that I keep and I'm going to be wearing it. And I'm pretty excited about that. All right. Let me turn this around. All right, you guys, I'm in my pajamas. <laughs> um, we actually did our Sunday night family time game night thing. Oh my gosh, it was like literally the cutest thing. Maybe I'll put in a little a clip after I say goodbye, but um, they learned how to play Uno. It was so cute. And yeah, so I hope you guys had a great weekend and I'm really excited about these pieces. I, I'm, I, I absolutely am like loving live selling with you guys because you guys are getting amazing deals we're hanging out and chatting and it's like, it's so fun when like something sells and you guys are excited and I'm excited. And of course I would be able to put all these things online and be able to make well over a thousand dollars with these pieces, but I'm going to be sharing them with you guys. And it makes me so happy because I like feel like I know a lot of you guys and I know your names and that is just super fun for me. So I will see you guys Tuesday. Uh, make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Um, and if you learned anything, leave me a comment down below. Comments always help the channel. It helps others um, It helps others see the video, I guess I should say. YouTube likes it when people are actively commenting. And if you're not already subscribed, go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below. And as always, make sure you're out there thrifting so you guys can live generously. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. All right. Plus, pick one, Gideon. Oh, my God. Plus one, here. Give that to Serafina. <laughs> so here. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Gideon. Choose a yellow. Choose a yellow. Where's the yellow? Okay, put it down. <laughs> hey, <laughs> plus five. Oh, I'm just kidding. No. All right, Pemberley's turn. Time Hold it, all your yellow. cards, honey. Do you have a five or a yellow? All our cards are pens. <laughs> <laughs> I know they're shoved <laughs> under her body. <laughs> okay, then you draw a card. Oh, draw a card. Is that a five or a yellow? Oh, reverse. To it's a female. reverse. A oh, huge shout out to all the Patreon members for supporting both YouTube channels and our Lily Works Facebook community. Come on over to our new selling platform called district.net. We have two stores. One is called Lily Works Antiques and Collectibles. The other is Lily Works Jewels and Lots. Become a member. You can also become a seller. Also, if you're interested in anything you see from this video or reseller merch, go ahead and head over to lilyworksreseller.com where you can find different collections for sale. Also, make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys later. Bye!